I'm showing you, um, this is Screencast-O-Matic 2. Um, it is a beta version. It's a little clunky to start with. It's a little slow. I'm not sure if it's my computer or what. Um, what you're looking at is, <clears throat> uh, that's the first screen uh, that you see when you um, open up the software. So similar to the uh, first version, you have all your list of um, uh, videos that you've created. And so you can click on them and edit them, uh, do what you need. You got your record button up here, which is the same in version one there. <clears throat> I'll just show you a couple screens from this. Um, and it's kind of a nice uh, new black interface. Um, the tools on the bottom is a lot more simplified. <clears throat> and the uh, selection options are nice, great, big, uh, nice visual sorts of buttons. So <clears throat> you can see the option here. So you can share a screen, you can share the webcam alone, or you can share both, which is what I usually do when I'm sharing, uh, when you can see me and the screen at the same time. Um, a cool thing is that uh, you can set the max time. Where did it go? Here's the max time. You can actually click on max time and set it to 15 or 30 or whatever, um, and it'll actually count down for you. Or or you can uh, specify uh, you know another custom one. Uh, for example, if your YouTube limits you to 15 minutes, you can set it to 15 max, and it'll do a countdown timer. So that is pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> the other option is a, a very quick selection for um, 480p or 720, or full screen. Um, it's very limited, yes, or you can uh, manually resize it if you want. Um, I like it, though. Um, I like a very simple option. 720 happens to be what I always use. So that's perfect. That's nice and easy. Now, <clears throat> like uh, version one, you also have some tools to uh, go ahead and draw on the screen. Um, so there's zoom buttons, and you can erase your text. And so I, I just drew a high on there. Um, this here is what the video looks like after you've uh, created it. Um, you have some options for exporting it, file name, uh, file type. Um, and then you have your edit options um, there, <clears throat> which should be similar to version 1. And yeah, this was just the, uh, the list of recordings that you had. And uh, the other thing, this is a, an image of the top of my Mac, the, the, the kind of the toolbar at the top or whatever. This little uh, target is a new icon, so you can get right at the, uh, right at the software, so you don't have to go... Um, to the uh, search bar and uh, you know type it in. You can actually go straight to this little icon and uh, pull up your recording tool. So that's kind of uh, kind of neat. Um, <clears throat> I'd show you the edit, but uh, I, I think it's just the same. I'll, I'll add something to this video if it's not. But anyways, that's just a quick look at the uh, version two beta. Uh, as I say, it's a little slow. Um, some interesting options I've not yet learned about. Um, it definitely looks like it has some neater cleaner options to it uh, so check it out I think you can you can only download it if you're a pro uh, so you pay $15 a year um, or I think you can get use the online there's an online version in my last video I said version 2 is fully online it's not there's uh, if you're a pro uh, if you have a pro subscription you can download the tool directly onto your Mac so that's perfect so uh, check it out it's kind of neat